Nick Kujalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel, back at it again. First session of the week. We're in for push. Starting off with inclined dumbbells, feeling good. The food is still a bloody nightmare to get down. The eating is honestly right now, this deep into the bulk, is getting very hard. Like it's just the consistency of a force feeding. Like every single second I feel like I'm eating. If I'm not in the gym, I, I, I've got food in my mouth. Like that's how much I'm eating right now. So the eating's hard, but it is what it is. If you want to put on muscle naturally, you have to eat. It's just the reality of trying to put on size. Before we get into today's push day, guys, if you want to get in great shape naturally, if you want full access to all my training programs with new ones being released every month and 24-7 support from me via Zoom calls, private message, and the community feed, then join the Mendez Cartel. I can really help you in there. Click the link in the description. All right, let's get into it. Starting off with heavy incline dumbbell press. I'm going up in weight this week. Last week, I hit my set of eight. Now I'm going up in weight a touch. And once I hit my desired rep range, I go up, I progressively overload. So now I'm going up in weight. These are very heavy dumbbells, really going up. These are actually 55.3 kilo, um, as you can see here. Well, you can't see, on the, inside of, on the outside of the dumbbell, it says 52 and a half kilo. But when you actually weigh them, they weigh 55.3 kilo because the, the weight on the outside of the dumbbell only accounts for the plates, it doesn't account for the handle itself, which weighs another, I think, 2.8 kilo. And we, I put them on the weighing scale, they weigh 55.3, 55.3 keys. So these are 55.3. Let's get to it, top set. Let's see how many I get. Six reps, didn't quite get seven. So the goal from now one becomes, those are the 55.3 kilo dumbbells. Well, let me show you the inside of the dumbbell. Where it is. The gym owners put 55.3, let me show you now. As you can see there, 55.3 kilo. Dumbbells, the exact weight of those dumbbells. So six reps, nearly got seven. But the goal now becomes, let me get seven next week. Let me get eight. Once I get eight on these, then I move up to the 57s. So that's how I work in terms of progressive overload. Always trying to get a little bit more. Then eventually, once I've hit that eight rep mark, I go up in weight. All right, back, back off set time for the founder. I'm gonna take a about five kilo off each dumbbell and go and get some reps in. Alright, a nice nine piece. That was my third set. I did two sets of my top set weight. Then I'll do another set on this probably, so I'll probably do four sets in total. Alright, next exercise we're doing a seated, uh, seated barbell shoulder press. Going up in weight this week from last week, going up to 90 kilo now, trying to get three sets of eight. Did 85 the week before that and 80 the week before that week. So I've gone five kilo up every week. Started quite light. This is only the third week of me doing this movement, so still building my way into it. But really trying to get stronger. My goal is really to get up to 100 kilo for reps on barbell shoulder press. 90 for a three by eight. This is my first set. Let's, let's see how this moves. 
This is probably going to be my last week, my last week of eights, and then I'll probably go down to sixes. All right, people, next exercise, we're doing a machine chest press, same one I always do, the old school machine, conversion. A lovely piece of equipment. Start very low rep, just do two sets here, top set and a back off. One second. Bloody hell, man. What's going on here? All right, let's go. Took a while to load that. Good set. That's, the, that's failure, that's true failure. All right, next movement. We're doing a seated cable fly with fat grips. I'm putting the cable stack slightly wider than, than last time. I had them narrower before, and I didn't quite get as good of a contraction, as good of a fly, so. Doing them slightly wider now, and yeah, just trying to, the co-founder told me to put them slightly wider just because I get a better fly. When they're too close, it's harder to get that kind of deep stretch. All right, people, we're on to side delts now. We're doing the same thing as I did last week, dumbbell side laterals. Start with heavy partials, 12 reps heavy partials, then 12 reps, drop the weight, full range of motion. So starting off with these heavy partials. A great way to get an extra volume and stimulus is by doing heavy partials. Fatigue the side delts first, and then you get the lighter weight and go more rep. Ah! <sighs> 
Oh, that's a brutal, brutal burn, brutal burn. All right, we're gonna finish with the tricep superset, the same superset I've pretty much done last few sessions. So let's bang out this superset, get it done and dusted. Starting off with a heavy push downs and then going into a lighter exercise, more of a finisher on lying uh, rope extensions. I have to go real light here because that just takes all my juice out. I'm using a ooh, lovely, this is an ergonomic tricep rope. It's got, it's got these little handles that are perfect for really extending and contracting. The biggest guy in the gym gave them to me, so when the biggest guy in the gym gives something to you, you have to use it. HX Diago, those handles let you really contract nicely. A little post session physique update. Week 19 of the bulk. Let's see how I'm looking. Closing in on five months of bulking. Well, no, actually, we've still got a few more, a few more days till I hit five months, but this is the fifth month, month of bulking, about four and a half months. Let's see the physique. Putting on a little bit of fat, but it's normal when you're bulking. Well, that's my physique, guys. Looking all right. Still trying to hold on to some leanness. Still trying to stay lean. Still trying to keep pushing. I've got many months left of bulking. Like I want this to be a long bulk. I really want to improve. The longer you bulk, bulk the longer you bulk for as an actual, the more chance you have of putting on lean muscle tissue. You've really got to bulk for a long period of time. It's our only source of growth is food. Remember that, guys. So, Nick Hujalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Join the Mendez Cartel. Link in the description. And as always, people, long live King Charles III and God bless Sir Winston Churchill.